is a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. So here she is, one of the more prolific kickboxers to cross into the UFC in some time. She might kick harder than you, bro. Oh, yeah, she does kick so hard. I mean, you look at the videos. The videos are all out there. And you watch this young lady landing these brutal leg kicks on the bag, landing the high kicks, the body kicks. It's, it's unreal to watch someone of this stature able to land and be as physical as she is. She's so aggressive in her approach. She's so comfortable in such tight confines that her opponents usually panic because they can't understand, as we can, how she could be okay when she's under duress as she is. I asked her to kick me in the leg at our fighter meeting on Thursday, and as you see, I'm still limping. So she packs some power, and her opponent better be ready for it here tonight. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC. And I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. First day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It showed. It showed in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to play kickboxing match with the best kickboxer. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Fighting out of Milan, Italy, fast. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, Jessica Evil Eye. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your car. to the MMA leader back in Montreal tonight. We are inside Bell Center where the hockey fans are making noise for mixed martial arts tonight. This is as good an MMA setting as we have on the entire calendar. This year. I remember sitting in the back before Josh Koscheck fought George St. Pierre and thinking, wow, the Canadian fans have treated us great this week. But the moment we hit the curtain, you felt the booze. You felt that we were uninvited because they were there to cheer on their guy, George St. Pierre. But look, it's not limited to just him. They cheer all fighters in all great fights in the bell center. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. Oh, huge hook. Right hand landed. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, she landed a jab there. Is her jab better than yours or not? It's way better than mine. She's so fast and she throws it with ill, ill intent. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big kick lands. All 
All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? So just over 20 total strikes have now landed. Oh, what a strike by her there. I do not doubt her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Under two minutes to go. <laughs> Just unable to quite find that range. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. One minute. Oh, nice. Oh! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh! So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Just unable to quite find that range. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Caution, flammable. That horn signifies the end of the round. And quite frankly, after that knockdown with the head kick, I didn't think we'd get here. It's a merciful horn. We're happy to hear the horn because she was getting brutalized. She was getting beat up to the body. But the big moment was when her opponent took the kick high and knocked her down. there by I. Well, the damage starting to add up, bleeding from her cheek now. Well-placed kick there by Jessica I. Oh, she's looking to set up that head kick, no good. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you still block the shot that's incoming. Beautiful strike. She continues to circle towards the left. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting and you're jabbing and it's landing, if your opponent's landing more dominant strikes, you run the risk of the judge scoring for them. Right. Get in there, stick your nose in the fight. Don't be afraid to get a little bit dirty. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. What a punch. Ooh, big knee. certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Head kick. Let's focus. Let's focus now. That's a big strike right there. Leg kick. And she misses with the left punch there. Oh, she put everything into that one. Huge kick. Oh, straight right. Use your combos. 
Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. from that previous round, DC Chief among it. The big knockdown courtesy of that punch. Ready? Ready? Fire! All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Good punch land. Looking to establish the jab here, nicely done by I. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. That's a hell of a kick fire there. We'll see if she can follow it up now, champ. Great job landing that kick. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. Nice. Oh, there, DC, and now her opponent may be seeing stars at this point. Her opponent's seeing stars. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get out of her now. That's gonna finish tonight. Oh, you can see her limping a little leg is hurting for certain. Able to check the high kick. <laughs> Big kick lands. And she's doubling up on the jab there. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight. Oh, huge right hand! She is such a diverse striker that that kick strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Well, she whips on the straight right hand. Straight right hand. Powerful leg kick land. What? Huge connection by her there. Lower the curtain. Bring the cast out. Bring the cast if you take the foul. The night's over. Right hand punch from the clinch. Jessica I gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Left hook to the head. Takedown defense holds up. So there is the horn, so we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be... You ready? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. High strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Nice strike.
Well, she missed with that right hand. Oh, there's that hook shot. Certainly found the target on that attempt. Found the target and really puts her opponent on notice. Back to her feet here, but man, is she hurt. Nice punch there. Just over three minutes to go. Man, she can hardly stand now, and if she was a step behind before when she was fresh, how do you think she feels now that she's barely able to step on that leg? Right hand punch from the clinch. Wow. Look at the force at the behind that leg. Behind that leg. And she caught the kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, very nice job, Byron. And chung those hips, eat that foot into the lead leg. Dug it right into her opponent's thigh. Her opponent cannot take any more of these strikes. Y'all are just crazy for choosing this as, as a career. You can't just check those kicks. You better check these kicks. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tell. Misses on the uppercut there. Oh, beautiful kick by her there. She just gets that foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. This could be the beginning of the end for her opponent. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play because this fight is about done. Oh, strong punch there by Jessica Ah. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Ooh. Fantastic fight by both of these women. High-level striking. Oh, big knee! the end of the round, you see the cut on her cheek has gotten out of control. Really? Listen, we're down on the scorecards. I need you to fight smart. If you start losing the stand... You ready? You ready? So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Jessica I gets caught with that punch. Big leg kick lands. What you're gonna see with this young lady, is she gonna finish the fight? Let's go. Push forward and Eyes hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. Well, she lands another strike to the body, and that's gonna do it! decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has gone to stop for this contest at 59 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Jessica Ebron. All right, there she is. Big win by TKO.